Hello, this is Joseph with TLI. Thanks so much for working with TransLogistics. I'm so excited that you're going to be giving Viewpoint 2.0 a shot. We've been working on this for a very long time. It's going to be great to deploy for you. What we're going to be doing is taking a quick moment to show you how to create a shipment within the system. So I'm going to share my screen here. Okay, to access this screen, simply type in vp.translogisticsinc.com and you will be taken to this screen. From here, if you forgot your password, simply select forget password, put in your email address, and you'll be prompted with an email where you can make any password that you would like for the system. Or if you've never signed up, you can simply select sign up and we'll get you access to the system right away, to just bare bones information. So we're going to log into the system now into the demo account. And we're gonna schedule a shipment. So we're gonna hit schedule shipment here. If we have multiple locations, we hit change here, and we select which location that we want to use. And the reason for that is that pricing, especially regional pricing, is gonna be unique to location. From here, it might pre-populate without save location address information. If you do wanna clear that out, you simply hit clear location, and it'll wipe, wipe that information. To search for addresses, you simply type in anything that you want. It can be your vendor name, customer name. You can search off of the zip, city, state, whatever you would like. You simply hit this search function, and then it will pull back that address. For the destination, likewise, you simply just put in maybe the state for your customer or vendor, hit that magnifying glass, and it will pull back that address. We simply hit select location, and it will populate here for us. We can see here as well that not everything has been filled out quite yet as to this this checklist to the right here hasn't flipped green so for it to flip green we're going to need to fill out the contact information and it's not just to make sure that your shipment moves issue free with the carrier if anything were to come up they want to deal with the constantly at the delivery end it's also so that when you hit book shipment at the end of this this will automatically send that tender request over to the carriers for them to make pickup for you. So we're gonna just say Joseph test. We're gonna put in a uh, sample email here as well. All right, from there we can save that location down. And instead of saving down a whole new address, it's gonna prompt us, do you just simply wanna update the current location? We would say yes here. And now that address is green for us and we're good to go moving forward in here. So the next section we can see here is items. So we're gonna say it's a 500 pound shipment, just keep it simple, one pallet, uh, 10 pieces, 40 by 40 by 48. All right, so what's very useful is you have a density calculator built right into this item screen as well. So if, you, if you've experienced reclasses before, this is a great way of getting ahead of that because the system will be, de be determining your freight costs for you based off of your pounds per cubic foot for density based items. So you simply hit this magnifying glass and it will only retrieve back commodities that fall within the density that you just entered. So you can see 11.251 was the pounds per cubic foot for the shipment that I just entered. And that is between 10 and 12, that's between eight and 15. So we know that these commodities would be perfectly acceptable to enter for our, for our commodity here. So we're gonna select this commodity and we're gonna go down here to the next item here. As we can see here, items now have flipped green. So if services are not required, this is one section where even if it does remain blue, it's perfectly acceptable as not all the time or special accessorials or services going to be required. Just for the sake of example, we're gonna pretend there is a destination lift gate here. As we move to the next section here, we would leave it checked for van as we're, this will be simply moving in the LTL network. We're gonna hit fetch rate. So as we hit fetch rate, something fascinating is happening in the system. It's going out to hundreds of carriers, checking your rate against dynamic pricing about where are rates right now, and it's gonna be populating all those carrier, carrier rates in the system here for you. And there are hundreds of carriers that it's reaching out to. So there's certain carriers that you prefer or don't prefer, you just need to communicate over those requests over to your sales rep. All right, so we have a whole bunch of carrier options to select within here. We're going to select uh, ABF here. We're gonna to go to this next screen here, which is for references. We're, we're simply just selecting, is this an inbound shipment, an outbound shipment, a shuttle shipment, whatever. So we're gonna say that this is an outbound shipment. 
In addition to that, you could add a reference here if you need to add your order number or any special numbers that correspond to this disorder. So we're gonna just put a sample one in there. We can see here now almost everything has flipped green. There's only one section here that's really left other than this free form type for bill of lighting instruction. So you can type anything in here. Um, if you leave it defaulted though, it's just gonna let the carriers know if any problems come up, they can contact Trans Logistics and we'll work behind your behalf to resolve those issues for you. From here, we just check off on the legal agreement here for the terms and conditions. We, we just check that and it's gonna open up this screen here. Actually have it open up twice here. And you can just scroll through here if you wanna refresh yourself with just basic industry jargon about our normal, normal terms and conditions. From this point, we save the quote down or we hit book shipment. We're gonna hit book shipment here. And this is now sending your pickup request over to the carrier. It's now sending your information request over to Trans Logistics to keep an eye on internally here. And then now it's also generating, creating your bill of lading for you so that at the time of the driver's arrival for pickup, you're good to go. So right now we're waiting on our bill of lading creation. All right, wonderful. So we have our bill of lading here. If we wanted to also send a message to our client services, maybe uh, let them know, hey, this is a hot shipment. Can you please keep an eye on it? This is a really quick, simple way for you to do so without, and keep in mind I'm on the demo account, without having to just go out and bang out a whole nother email. Also, you can tag the shipment for alerts. So if I wanna keep tracking information on the shipment throughout its transit, or maybe one of your coworkers, or maybe the customer themselves wants a lot of visibility, this is a great way where you can get additional notifications. So every time it's at a new destination point in transit, one of those carrier terminals, you'll get that notification. So we're just gonna say Joseph M at CLITest.com. And then from here, you can just save that down and you'll be good to go with adding that email address for additional information as that shipment moves through its transit. From here, we can also generate our documents here. So we want to build lading, we can get a quote form as well if we want a, a copy of, our, of what we were quoted at the front end to save it down or a summary of that shipment or just pallet labels as well if you want to tape that to your pallet just in case anything were to happen in transit. It's just a much better chance of everything being recovered. From here, we hit generate. And now we have our bill of lading. From here, we can print it out, save it, email it, fax it, do whatever you need to do with that bill of lading. And you should be good to go now. Your shipment has been booked, been sent over to the carrier, it's been sent over to Trans Logistics, and you're ready to jump over to your next shipment by simply hitting schedule shipment, and you're on to your next one. All right, thanks for watching. Take care.